Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. After filling ourselves up with hint arts, let's go ahead and see... Well, I'm not hint art, I'm from hints from the hint toad. Let's go ahead and see if we can finish off this kingdom by getting the remainders of the stuffs here. I think that might be referring to... Yep, a door down here. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Ah, yeah, well. Ah, well. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Unfitting music. We're, we're, we've added a whole part already. Then part of the part before that. Alright, so we got some platforms that sink up and down. Sort of reminds me of the ones in Super Mario 64, if you think about it. You know, the ones that just have this little, little tiny peak that poops out of the lava in places that they appear in. Yeah, sort of, sort of, kind of, maybe it's a reference, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get- Ooh, nee 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 I stayed under control. Okay, so I got four, where's the last one? Those four went by very smoothly. Oh, there's a secret moon. Uh, probably should have known. I should have known. Ha ha! I'm gonna wait until it goes up a little bit. There we go. And there we go. And you know, as long as I know that the secret moon is behind the beginning. Whoopsie doodle. Whoopsie doodle. Whoopsie doodle. Okay. As long as I know it's behind the beginning, what I can do is just leave, um, like, <laughs> use the pipe to leave, Magma Swamp floating and seeking, behind this moon here, and then go back in, <laughs> just kind of go back around and get the other moon. Seems like the more efficient route, I think. And... Okay, you remember, of course you do. Oh, I see. Just gotta kind of loop around this way. Oh, okay. Corner of the magma swamp. Simple enough. I'll just make these jumps nice and quickly before... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> kind of speed things along. You guys are too slow for me. I'd rather make the little tiny jumps. And up there's got something. Up there's... It's like all on this mountain ridge here. How about then I start at the top of the peak climb and just kind of jump around the on those mountainy areas and see what I can find. This is a whole bunch of stuff along the edge here that you can climb along. Uh, so I think I can... I'm just trying to see what's actually the best spot for me to get on top of this. Let's try here. Oh! I was gonna do a triple jump, but you know what? Well, actually no, I might, this might be too slippery. It's kinda hard to tell where you can get on this thing, that's kinda the issue here. Yeah, boing, boing, yeah, boing. All right. See, oh no, it's slippery. Why is this part slippery? That shouldn't be slippery. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that particular part is slippery, but other parts not slippery. I don't understand it either. <laughs> uh, maybe that's not the spots they're referring to that I can get up to. Then how about we instead go then back to the plaza and look at the sucker from up like, on top of the roofing area. Just kind of climb along this here, because I know I can climb on this stuff, as you've seen me do. Actually, I should probably do a little bit... There we go. A little bit smoother here. And this stuff is just fine. You don't slide off of this for some reason, but the others... Are, oh, no. Of course you can just slide off it, but only some of it. Okay, so there's something up there. That means probably the easiest way to get it is to just use the cannon to get back up to the pot of stew and then jump from the pot of stew over to that ledge with a long jump. You know, like the edge of the pot of stew outside of a lava bubble? Yeah! So we're gonna go off to the right side where I was trying to point with the camera and plop out here. And then I aim for <laughs> and then I aim for that ledge straight down here, right? Right? That's probably the easiest way. Because it, it wasn't glowing at the spot that I was looking at it up there. Now it's glowing. I think it's too far to show the glow. Or maybe I still haven't adjusted my monitor good enough. I don't know, I don't think so. Overlooking a bunch of ingredients. 
And so there's that now and that now. Uh, mm. Actually, what what does that X refer to over here? Because I might actually be able to get up there using the stairs. Remember on this side? Let's try that. Because I might actually be able to scale the mountainside using that particular series of stairs this time. I, like, I maybe didn't even have to go and utilize the pot after all to do that. So let's see if I can do this a different way that is potentially more efficient. Hopefully. Yeah, let's see here. Alright, hint arts. That's not exactly... Well, I guess I could do that now as long as I'm here. Over at the Seaside Kingdom, it's on the very, very slopey side. Like where... Uh, Shinx is... Uh, Shinx. <laughs> it's a, not a Pokemon, it's a Sphinx. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's where that trench is and it's going up the heavy slope. So let's go ahead and head over to the Oceanside Kingdom. And, well, after plopping in a bunch of moons, we got a bunch of moons for sure there. And see you there. Alright, we made it. So immediately, I'm going to warp to uh, Soltov. <laughs> I, I forgot that was a thing. I think it was like here that the slope was. That, like, the heavy slope coming out of the trench was, I think the left side was more steep. We're about to find out! Uh, let's see here... Yeah, I think it was... No, maybe not. Uh, where was that bad boy? I'm looking for a very specific <laughs> coral reef over here. And perhaps I should have a fish on my side. Was it this one? This one right here at the very edge? We're gonna find out! Yeah! That was the one! Found with Luncheon Kingdom Art. So actually, I shouldn't have warped over to this one. I should have warped over to that one. Yep! Just got the sides mixed up. One more moon! For the road, if you don't mind. Bunk. Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna warp back over to the Meat Plateau, and I, I think I called it the East Plateau before, but eh, eh, it doesn't much matter that much. <laughs> it is, it is East after all, so. <laughs> um, so what is that sucker referring to on, whoops, is it that little edge over there? Certainly looks like it. Or at least it's close to it. Oh, a door? Thought I missed this door before. Oh, is this the treasure chest and the vegetables? Ah! So I wasn't actually in the vegetables like I was looking through in the last parts from the Takatu hint. It was kind of like more on the side door between the vegetables. Yeah, that's totally intuitive. <laughs> uh, I guess... Uh, I don't know. I I'm, I'm, I'm I'm really don't remember what this last one is. Up over here. I don't remember if it was under, like in the lava, or if it was on the edge. I th actually, I think I'm gonna go to the peak climb instead. Because then I can get a lava bubble over to that side. Assuming that I don't accidentally land on one of the solid platforms, like I kept doing. So we're gonna go jump off this side. There we go. Now, I don't know if I'm correct in this. In, I mean, it may be above, it may be below, but I'm checking below first, just because it's easier. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, really? That's it? That is definitely it, okay. How do I get that? Just like that, I guess. I don't think that was the intended method. Surrounded by taller mountains. And with that, our X's have been exhausted. 
The world has been 100%ed. So it's time to go over to the Ruined Kingdom. Woo! <laughs> Not much to get at the Ruined Kingdom, really, as it's, I do believe, the smallest kingdom in the game, moon-wise, I think. Either that or it's, or it's the Cloud Kingdom. But 750 exactly at this point. Still hundreds away from 100% <laughs> completion. Ruin King, though, let's -a go. Let's escape. <laughs> I wonder if it'll load any longer because this is a short kingdom. I don't know, it seems to be loading about the same. Ooh. So, yeah, this is the place that Peach said, Peach said she was going next because it's the kingdom that's always surrounded with the storm and lightning and oh. Anyway, Moonrock is going too. Let's be sure to check that indeed. I, th I think Peach is actually on our way over to that Moonrock. There's gonna be a pipe that's gonna appear over here somewhere around there with after you Moonrock it up. Uh, wait, what is this? One coin. <laughs> Just one coin for all that shininess. By the way, this place is still awesome. I guess she isn't over there. Maybe she's over hanging out by the dragon, having fun. With our friend now friendly dragon that's just quite tired. Alright, Moonblock. Let's rock. Oh, and it looks like that I won't be uh, unlocking two moon blocks in the same part like I thought would possibly happen, depending on the pacing of the uh uh, Ruin Kingdom, like I did over at the uh, yeah Cloud Kingdom. But anyway, that's okay. However things go is how things go. I cannot predict the future. I cannot predict how many parts will remain. I cannot predict how many attempts it will take me to, <laughs> to reach something. <laughs> uh, so anyway... Surely... Surely there's gotta be something around this area, because there is an arrow around this area. Maybe it's underneath now? Have we unlocked Peach? <laughs> Down over here or something? I don't know. Let's just see. It's not a goal. Under the world. See, it's not that, obviously. So what could be that marking referring to over there? I remember being puzzled by this one, my first run through. So, maybe that's what, this is what I'm supposed to snuff out the torches with now, I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out! Torches snuffed. Moon not gotten. What a shame. Oh wait, was it up on top of this? Ooh. Like there's an arch up here. Ah, yes! Yes, that was it. Up on the broken arch, baby. And long... Is it, I'm still on a long jump, but there's not enough... Not a lot of room for me to long jump here. I'm gonna go back to the start with that pipe I said it was gonna appear. Because it has now appeared! Let's go. And... Ooh! This is another one of those dealios you gotta kill a whole bunch of critters. Yeah, these guys, before one will appear. But this time, it's gonna appear up on top of there. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's not nice. The, you know, the special glowy one? So, we're just gonna go ahead and unleash the charging chuck on the world. And get to destroying everything! Everything! Yeah! This is a pretty nice coin farming area, by the way. <laughs> Well, okay, fine. Oh, the- oh, the- ooh, it, it appeared up there already! Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to lose this, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna do the secret one now before I lose my opportunity. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and now I will do the main one. I don't know how that appeared so quickly, but I got the mummy, Mummy's Army's Curse done and cleared out. I did not time my jump very well there. And you guys, you guys are a lot tougher of an army than you would, than one would think. Alright, so besides destroying everything, 
we can do is just go ahead and you know destroy the cage. That'll that'll do just fine. <laughs> Charging through an army that'll give us moon number two. But you do want to destroy everything, don't you? I think you want to destroy everything. Of course you want to destroy everything. That'll be fun. So let's go ahead and destroy everything. Yes, charging cut chucks just. They do not get the same level of love as other Mario enemies. So they, des they deserve the spotlight of destroying everything. I, I for some reason, I cannot get that pole. <laughs> my, t my turning is just not tight enough. I must loop around. Oh no! I must loop around again. Oh, dang it! The hardest pole in the world is right here, boys. <laughs> Final locks. Destroyed. And yes, those hearts you can just get by climbing the poles, but eh, 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 really that important. Can I warp up to the top? No, I cannot. So I guess I actually have to hoof it all the way up there. That's all right. It's not that much to hoof, as you know. This place pretty small. And I think the last moon has been unlocked. That is not moon block specific on the list, which is Peach. Yep, she is over here. <laughs> just saying hello to the dragon. This king now. Well, let's just say it's a fixer upper. <laughs> Dragon's like, no, it's my home. I like this place. It's it's homey. As long as I'm with Peach, I'll be fine. I'm sure. But I did find a moon power moon here. I hope it's useful to you in your travels. Yeah. Peach in the ruined king. Yeah, like look at the look that dragon's giving us. <laughs> At that castle, this could be a good opportunity to find, finally go there of my own free will. She's going over to the Bowser's Kingdom. Well, technically we know she's already been to the Bowser's Kingdom, but... <laughs> she's, yeah, this is the official announcement that she's going there. Now, one of these rocks should be yep, a glowing one now. Which should yield a moon. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's gonna take a while, but gimme, gimme, gimme. What's this? A coin, that's what it is. Gimme, gimme! Gimme! I really don't know what's faster, kicking it or ground pounding it. It just feels like ground pounding it takes longer because of the pauses and you can sort of kick things off of walls and maybe speed things along in your combo attacks this to maximize things. Yeah, this one requires a lot of kicks, but don't give up. It's gonna break. It's crumbling. It's gonna happen eventually. It may take a hundred kicks. But I assure you, there's something inside this one. Just keep going. <laughs> it, you may, your feet may be getting a little tired by now, but don't worry, it's gonna break. <laughs> it's, it's gone. It's, it's gone. I, I feel it weakening. <laughs> you can even use your hat if you'd like to. Oh, that, whoa! That actually might be a faster way. I never thought about that, like comboing it against the wall like that. Interesting. Or maybe even homing attack comboing it around there. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. No. No, we're not losing our progress on this rock. This rock, the progress will not be lost. It will, it will not fall off the edge. <laughs> there it <to> go! <laughs> Rolling rock on the battlefield. That is the most terrible rock. I have ever seen that was crumbled like that. <laughs> the last one is on the dragon's horn, I think. Because uh, I, I thought I, I mentioned there was something going to be here later on. Yeah! Sparkly! You don't mind that I ringed around the rosy on your, your horn, do you? Nah, you're still too tired to care. Caught on a big horn. Are you still tired after our boss battles? So tired. Yes, you are. And with that, look at that. 10 out of 10. And of course, there's no purple coins or anything like that here. Woo! 100% completed! Yeah! Yeah. And I think with the cuts, it's going to be around 20 minutes again, so plop those in the Odyssey. And you know what that means. With that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I head over to the Bowser's... Well, I was going to say, the Bowser Kingdom. 
but it's Bowser's kingdom. <laughs> Gotta be specific about that, because it's HIS kingdom! HIS kingdom! <laughs>